Ford Toyota. Oh. Is it it's a RAV Ford? Oh, RAV. I thought you said red. Yeah. Okay. Dark green RAV. Never heard of that. RAV. Hmm. Ford Toyota. Dark green. You have any idea what the flight number might be? No. No, I didn't think so. Okay, it would be, do you know if it's listed to her or if there's any, it is. Okay. Does she have any tattoos or anything? No, not that I know of. Okay. Um, we'll have to have somebody come over, see much what we can do. Sure. Um, get as much information for us as you can. Do you know about any piercings, ears pierced or anything like that? Um, I think her belly button is pierced, but and her ears are good. Okay. Pierced belly button and ears. Okay. Well, our officers are all out in the accident right now. Yeah. I will have, are you going to be home all night? Yes. I will have somebody stop on over to us if we can get a little more information. Okay. Um, do you know her blood type? No. Okay. Um, we'll see once what we can do and get an officer over by you. Okay. All right? Thanks. Sure. Goodbye. Bye. Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department, this is Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Uh, do you have any detectives working tonight at the Sheriff's Department? No. No, huh? No. Who's your shift commander right now? It would be Sergeant Colburn. Okay. Could you uh, have him, could you patch me through to him? Sure. And who is calling? This is Investigator Mark Weigert from the Calumet Sheriff's Department. Hold on, please. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, it's going to be Kelly McCowney for my ship commander. I'm okay. Okay? Yep. All right, bye. Can you me call Sheriff Thomas? Hey, Steve, I just sent you the 28th for Street Sahaba. Uh huh. Could you um, see if there's been any activity with that license plate at all? What do you mean? If um, any tickets been run through the system at all by anybody like on a traffic stop. Okay, I'll check and we'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. Sure, bye. Yeah, Hi, could I speak with Leslie Ramirez, please? She's on the road. I can have a call, yeah. Okay. Do um, you have my number then? Go ahead. Uh, 920. Two, two, well, this is about a uh, missing person. Report. Yeah. And, uh, Ms. Lemay was trying to help me find this person. She was looking for a license plate number. Yes. That I just found. Yes, I'll have her call you. Okay. And your phone number? Uh, 92. Hello. Jimmy Clinton, Sheriff Perwin. Hello, this is Craig Simple calling. I just talked to Mark Weigert here just a couple of minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Is he available? I'll check. So, uh, thank you. I'll transfer you to his voicemail. He's on the phone. Just leave a message. He'll call you right back. Okay, thank you. Hey, I'm going to share a phone. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Can you give me a Poggle phone phone number? Sure. Hobby, 9714. I'm sorry, 9714. Thank you. Sure. Hey Steve, could you do a phone look up on the phone number from Manitowoc County? Sure, go ahead. 920 682 5719. Okay, you want to hold on, please? Yep. Ready? Yeah. George Zipper. How do you spell that? Uh, Z I T P E R E R. Okay. Address of 4433. Starting trunk D's and boy Manitowoc. Four four three three. Yes. D. Manitowoc. Do they give the middle initial or? No. Is this? Yes. This. 
Could you get get Manitowoc has him in house, and if there's possible uh, in house on John, it will be his son possibly. Okay. And uh, date of birth, and then I can check out his criminal history and those two. Okay. Thank you. Sure, bye. <laughs> Can we go ahead, Sheriff's Department? Hey, is Mark, we can do it up. I can check. Who's calling? This is Dennis Jacobs from Matt Buck County. Hold on. Have a cell phone. Sure, hold up, please. Investigator Wiegert's office. Yeah, Mark, please. Johnny busy. Okay. All right, call me back here, John. Mark? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Uh, Dennis Jacobs from Antwerp County for you. All right, go ahead. Hi, this is Nathan Bull from Beach Tap and Scott Fitchin. Um, I just had a question that that girl that's missing, Teresa Homa. Mm hmm Okay, um, I, I'm trying to think if that's, because I think she might have been, a, when did she, when was she known as missing? Um, the last anybody had seen her was on Monday. Oh, Monday, okay. Because, um, I, I'm almost, I talked to two friends, does she look familiar that she stops in the bar a couple times? Mm-hmm. And I think she hangs out with uh, one of my friends, well, not really a friend, but more of an acquaintance, uh, Kelly Pinson. If it's the same girl, I was just going to call you guys and just ask when she started missing because she was in the bar at about midnight on Saturday night. Okay, uh, they had seen her last on Monday. Oh, they did see her on Monday. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was just, I, I just wondered if I could help at all, but that's not well. probably... Thank you for calling. Yeah, probably not, but that's about all I can do. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Thank Bye. you. Bye bye. Jim, I'm sure it's permanent. It's, it's good. Um, what site were you using to do the reverse directories? Can you tell me that? Sure. Hold on. Um, Oh, any who telephone number. Oh, I think I have that. Any who's database search. Yeah, and then it comes up there. It has um, home, yellow pages, white pages, reverse look. Oh, shit, that didn't come up here. Uh, any who? Yeah, any who. I got nothing here. Just fucking computer. Could you run... Uh, Three of them for me. Sure. First one. Uh, nine two zero three six zero two four five five. Two four five five. Okay. Uh, four zero five. Okay. One. I was doing a message. Okay. Nothing for three six zero two four five five. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay, that's probably in cell. Okay. Next one. Four zero five. Nineteen ninety eight. Wait, how late is how long? So. Dan Morrow, M O R R O W. Okay. Need the address? Sure. 3030. I'll spell the road. S O N O R A N Court, Green Bay. Okay. Next one. 662 0127. Okay, let's do Romeo. Santiago. Okay. <laughs> Ready for the address? Sure. 2922 Brookview Court, Green Bay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Sheriff's Department. Oh, good evening. Hey, the Green Bay Police Department referred me to call uh, Kelly McCallum. Okay. In regards to the Teresa Hobbock. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Tom Pierce from Chicago. She works with me. Um, I talked to her. That's why I went to talk to the Green Bay Police Department. Um, I don't know if I have any information. Okay. Uh, is there a, a detective on this case? 
Okay. Um, actually, I do have someone here that might be interested in hearing what you have to say. Oh. Okay. okay. Could you please hold? Sure. Okay. Corporal Leslie Lemieux. I'm sorry. This is Corporal Leslie Lemieux. Oh. Uh, this is Tom Pierce from Green Bay. Hi. Uh, I don't know if the lady uh, told you what, what I was uh, calling about. Yes, about um, Teresa? Yes. You have some information? Well, uh, she works with me. Right. Uh, it's kind of rough here. Um, and earlier this afternoon, I called her mom. Mm hmm. Um, you know, mother said that uh, the Green Bay Police were looking at it, and I just got off uh, actually talking to the Green Bay Police Department, and referred me to Kelly and that. Mm hmm Huh. She was um, scheduled to come in today, or? I was told that um, she works out of your studio. Right. As a self-employed yeah, freelance right. photographer. She has her own, uh, she runs her own, her own photo business through my studio. Okay. So, not that she works for me. Uh, we work together okay. as her clients, and, and I have my clients and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I know she was doing that auto trader. Yes, and we have spoke with them. Oh, okay. Um, was um, were you expecting her to come in today, or was she uh, supposed to have well, an appointment? Or uh, yeah, she doesn't come in every every day. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but she has appointments, uh, so come in like, and, and get work caught up. Um, and stop. Right. Uh, but I had a senior in a couple of days, and that's when I called his mom to get his mom to Mm hmm. And then I called her, and her cell phone, uh, the uh, answering service. Right. And I thought, okay, that's not true. Mm hmm. Um, Correct. Was that with the auto trader? Yes. Okay. I, was, I don't know uh, if this will help. I know a few times she would tell me she had problems with the auto, not with the auto trader, but with some of the clients. Uh-huh. Um, I often told her, I said, you got to be careful because you know, she's going... Right. And a couple of times some of the guys got a little too friendly and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. Uh, did she ever mention any names or any uh, particular stories or instances? Yeah. Um, that you can recall? Not within the past few weeks. Not recently? No, not recently. Maybe like one, one and a half ago. Um, the only other mm -hmm. for the dad. So I'm thinking could have been. Mm hmm. Uh, Okay. Uh, the only other thing, um, right? And typically, a potential client would leave a message. Mm -hmm. And she even said, "Whoever it is, is contrary to policy, and I'm not calling them back because I don't know who they are." And she never picked up when they called. No. Did she? Did uh, well? We're going to be. I'm following up tomorrow and getting a hold of some phone records. Oh, um, so if you need to compare them, because all her paperwork, a lot of her paperwork, is at, at the studio. Okay. Um, uh, I don't know if I, you know, certainly come in and we can go. Okay. You know the match phone numbers and just the 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 legitimate number or mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, no. Um, she had mentioned that to you? What's that? The, the phone calls? Is that unknown? Oh, that unknown? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was it um, like a repeated dis kind of oh, yeah. irritation? Uh, yeah, one day. Uh, and it is. Just call, whoever called, just call Titan School. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, she, she'd get that caller ID and she'd get the number and they wouldn't leave a message. Did she ever happen to show you the number? Or you, can't, you don't know the number. You know when that started, or huh. how long it well, had been a problem? Yeah, almost five. Yeah. 
we know roughly um, when we send out an order, it takes about two weeks, two and a half weeks to get the order back. And you need a call back to the man or it doesn't have anything scheduled. Uh, and order. Mm -hmm. She's sick, been in a car accident, and usually she's sick or something of that nature, she gets calm. Right. So, I can't remember what time it was, maybe one or whatever. Not that minute, but within the next available time she can have, she calls back. Uh huh. I thought, okay, well, she's sick. Thought it'd be for a while. I call her mom because mom was right now. Right. And she called Karen and said, hey, glad it was going and her car was gone. And, you know, it's like you know, normal, you know. Mm hmm. And she said, well, her mailbox is full. Oh. No. I know some of her friends, but I don't know their phone numbers or some of her friends will come in and, you know, and visit the afternoon. I was getting phone calls from some of her friends. And gee, you some good country. Mm hmm. So, you know, the network started looking. Right. And then I told Karen, <laughs> you know, if you hear anything, just let me know. You know, so I don't have to worry. And uh, I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Um, I hadn't called you. Karen had told me that she had spoken to you. She had oh. given me. Um, the information that you had last seen her on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, but there is going to be further um, follow up tomorrow. Okay, yeah, that's So, um, are you going to be at the office? Oh, yeah. Tomorrow? Okay. I'm sure sometime tomorrow that there'll be either a uh, Calumet investigator or Green Bay investigator at the office to yeah, speak so, with you, um, take a look at it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, From, being big, right? I didn't speak to him, but uh, the um, lieutenant on, on the window. Mm hmm. And uh, he took everything down. And, uh, you know, if they need to go through her paperwork or whatever, the, you know, like. Right, which I'm just, we'll be looking for everything that you know, we can to follow up on. Um, do you know, um, you said you know some of her friends. Does a Michael Vanden Hoon will ring a bell? Mom asked. Because I talked to her again tonight. Okay. As soon as I saw that on the news, I called mom right away. Um, the Mike does. The Van and Hoover is a, a pretty common name around here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've heard that name myself. Uh, I know she knew uh, the guys that raced motorcycles. Okay. I'm not pointing a finger to him, but I right. Um, she was good friends with them. And she's were tracking down phone numbers and. Yeah. Um, Oh, conversation. Mm hmm. Um, but not the last name. Okay. You know, she would say, like, oh, yeah, a um, good friend of my mother. Mm hmm. So, Just first name. Yeah. Um, do you know if does she stay in Green Bay often or? Uh, not really. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, she, if she would, she'd stay by one of her girlfriends. Okay. Uh, they were going to go out or something. And you don't know of any boyfriends or? Uh, no. Um, when she hadn't mentioned, except for those phone calls, nothing yeah. strange or out of the ordinary? No. Recently? Uh, no, even her behavior, you know, like she would. Mm hmm. Um, um, but I know she has friends in Milwaukee and Chicago. I should mention, she said, yeah, one of these, I'm going to go down and see her. Mm -hmm. She came up and met her a couple of days. She wrote things like that. Um, she let me know that I'm going to be gone and I'm going to be in with her. She was going to go, so don't, because I would book appointments for her and she would book appointments for me and so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, did she have any um, specific appointments today, or it was just that you hadn't seen her for yeah, several days? I haven't seen her. Okay. Okay. Um, Tom, do you have uh, the home phone number that I, or cell phone that we could reach at if we need to? Oh, sure. Home phone is 920-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4-4
you know, ideas what they're going to be doing. But if he knows of any, you know, he hasn't told me. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that have been calling. Okay. So I will try to be in there. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Did anybody try dialing her cell phone and seeing what tower it's coming off of? Yeah, we've been working on that too. Okay. So they, they're not able to do it at this time for whatever reason. Oh, really? Because we found people that way in the past. Okay. Yeah, Singular can't do it. Um, okay. So. All right, maybe they don't have their own towers that they're using somebody else's. That's possible. Okay. All right. Okay. Just a thought. All right, thanks anyway. Sure. Bye. Camel County Sheriff's Office. Yes, uh, I need to leave a message for Officer Schultz. Um, he called and told me to leave his, my number to get a hold of him. Okay. It's, my, uh, my name is Bradley. Okay. And he called me just this morning. My number is 217 217-1454. 217-1454. Is that going to need a 920 area code? Yeah, that's right. That's okay. Right. All right. Thank you. Answering for Mark. Oh, I was going to say, don't hang up on me this time. <laughs> <laughs> I got a phone number number for that Bradley Sia. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Uh, same address? Yeah. Um, I, yeah, that's that Highway 57 address. Okay. That's a trailer park in Greenleaf. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. We got a couple 28s that go with it. I'll clip those together and bring them back. How about that? That'll be great. Okay. Thank you, Joyce. Sure. Bye. In the county sheriff's office. Hey, Joyce, Cedar, right? mm -hmm. could you send a teletype to Brown and to Otagami to have them check their airports for uh, Teresa's vehicle? Will do. Thank you, ma'am. Sure. Bye-bye. Hi, my county sheriff's office. Uh, yes, I had called a little while ago to leave a message for Officer Schultz. Okay. Uh, my name is Bradley Chet. And I was just wondering if you got that message, if you knew how long it would be, because I had a couple of things going on and I don't want to miss his call. Uh, let me check. Can you hold on a second? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Bradley Chet. Yes. Um, and Investigator Weger will be contacting you shortly. So it should be like within the next 10 minutes, I hope. Wonderful. Do you know what this is regarding? Um, it's part of the missing person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just need to find out the uh, information. If I know anything, I was going to very good time with that, so. Okay. I figured that's what it was, but I just, you know. Mm -hmm. so. okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Can we call you it's perfect. Hey, Steve? Yes. I know I've asked you this a million times, but I'm going to ask you to do another reverse direction for you. Are you sure? Let me get into your screen, please. I'd have to find out the number. Can you get it? 920? Yeah, 920 is 435-1367. Um, great, thanks. That wasn't her business, was it? Was it her business? Was that the one that uh, Leslie called me on? Yeah. And we called it through Ameritech SBC. Oh. They're security people. And oh. we came back with her name and another name and then a oh. different address. Oh. I don't know. I'm not right with that. Okay. Okay, thanks. Sure, bye. All right, bye. -bye. Hi, I don't want to give you my name, but I see I see some paper missing person. 
Teresa, Teresa Halbridge, something like that? Hello? Yes, I'm here. Okay, I think I see the lady. Where? Here in Green Bay, I see her. Okay, call Green Bay Police Department. Okay, bye. Sheriff's Department. Oh, hi, hey, it's Wendy. Yes, sorry, I'm looking for a last Wendy. Baldwin? She's out on the road. Oh, okay. This is Mike Ortiz in Dodge Arm, I'm sure it would. Uh -huh. uh, we're trying to get phone records for the missing person. Uh, and uh, Teresa. Uh -huh. uh, my folks in Madison are having some problems with the uh, local calls. I do have like seven long distance calls that they sent me via uh, electronically. Okay. And I didn't know if she yeah. was going to like right away. Um, do you pack some tour department? You bet. Uh, area code 920? I think it's wrong. Oh, yeah. 849 Uh Yeah, you can use that fax number, yeah. Oh, oh is that okay? Are you yeah, no, we've got so many different faxes, but that one's perfect. Okay. Thank you. I'll do it right away. Thank you, sir. Yep. Bye-bye. I'll be a little bit. Okay. Can we go to his permit? Hi, uh, my name is Dave Beach. I'm a cousin of Teresa Hallbuck. Uh huh. Um, I stopped at Avery's Towing today around 2.30, and they mentioned that she had stopped in there. When did she stop in there? What's that? When did she stop in? She stopped in on Monday, um, roughly about mid-afternoon, 2, 2.30. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Dave. Last name is Beach. Okay, what's your phone number, David? It's 414-403-4858. Okay, I'll pass on to investigators. Thanks for calling. All right, thank you. Right. John. Yeah, can you talk? Yeah. Did uh, you guys have information that she was over at Avery's Junkyard on Monday? Uh, we knew that she was in that area shooting some photos, yeah. Oh, okay, because I got a call from a cousin saying that he stopped here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the cousin says he stopped over there and talked to Avery, and apparently she was over there on okay. Monday afternoon. I don't know if it's okay. calm or... Uh, jot his number down. When we get in, we'll, I'll give him a holler. Okay, hold on. Uh, Patty has a message for you. Hi, um, I'm calling with just some limited information about the Teresa Hallbach. Okay, well, let's hold on and I'll switch over to somebody. Okay. Okay, um, we're handing out flyers in Manitowoc, the city of Manitowoc at this time about poor tree stuff. Uh -huh. And at this point, there was a young lady who thought she had saw her at a auto shop. It's called TR Truck and Auto. It's on County Highway CR. Okay. She does not remember exactly when she had seen her, so. Okay, do you got a name or for a phone number or anything? Um, the establishment that we did see her at was a tanning salon place on Washington Street. Okay. Okay, why don't you let Manitowoc um, Police Department know about that, and then they can follow up on that part. Okay, so Thanks. Thank you. Sheriff's Department, Michelle speaking. Hi, Michelle. This is the CDS 5. How are you? Just fine. And how about you? Good. So I'm just checking in. Anything interesting tonight? No. Nothing's here. Okay. But we didn't get to watch the news because we didn't have a TV anymore. <laughs> What's the deal on that um, girl from Kelly Mac County? The, um, Teresa, um, yep. Alec, I think her name is. The one that, yeah, the missing lady? Yes. Um, she's still missing. Mm -hmm. What was very strange was that um, the last person, one of the last people that she's known to have seen was Steve Avery. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Now, where did they get that from? That I don't know. That I don't know how that originated. But 
I think it what it I think it came from um, the auto trader because those were her assignments. Oh, uh, okay. And she took um, pictures, photographs of the cars that people wanted to sell. And okay. The auto trader. He was one of them. So um, that you know, and, she, and he said she was there for about five minutes, came to the picture, and left. And when cops came over, they, uh, or the officers came over and checked out the house, and nothing there. So okay. They're still looking for her. And she's, you know, friends and family that are out spreading, you know, whatever kind of flyers they can with their picture on it. Oh, yeah. And, um, well, that's good. I'm hoping to catch the kind of class list. <laughs> I didn't get the... Well, <laughs> you'll have to watch it. Yeah. So far, unfortunately... Um, nothing yet. Okay. Uh, we haven't found her car, nothing. No. So. All right. Well, All right. thank you. Well, thank you. Kay. Take care. Bye-bye. Me too. Bye-bye. Any sheriff's department? Yes. Uh, you got a lost person over there? Yes, we do. That uh, license plate number that they just showed on the, on the TV, mm-hmm. I think that this morning... Ten four. Where did you see that this morning? It was on Highway 15 coming into Appalachian. Okay, was it on the same vehicle? The it's green? Almost positive, yeah. Okay. And it was coming from Greenfield, going into Appalachian. Okay. What I'll do is um, I'm going to transfer you to the investigator who's handling the case, and if you could leave your name and telephone number and then just give a brief little scenario as to that you saw that vehicle at what time this morning. Sure. Okay? Okay, hang on. I'm going to transfer you to his voicemail. This is Connie in dispatch. Hi. I just received a call from a gentleman who states that he saw the vehicle of the missing girl this morning on Highway 15 in the Grand Chute area. On Highway 15 in the Grand Chute area. And there would be actually double O that goes out from Greenville to Appleton. Okay. Could he describe who was driving it at all? No. What I did was I told him to... I, was gonna, I just explained that I was going to transfer him to your voicemail and he needs to leave his name and number and give us a scenario of what he observed and, okay. and someone was What time did they see it? Uh, in the morning. In the morning. Morning hours. Okay. So um, check your voicemail. I will do that. Okay. Should I call my cell at all? No. Okay. That was bad. So. Oh, okay. Did you want me? It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, if I don't answer at home, call my cell. Okay. All right. Thanks, honey. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. County Sheriff's Department. Yes, my name is Beth Stoltz. I'm a special agent with the uh, Division of Criminal Investigation. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I'm calling is I've done some past investigations on Stephen Avery. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching the news and I'm seeing his name come up. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering if there's anything I can offer to help you guys. Um, how do you spell your last name, Deb? It's Ethan Sam. T R A U S F. And I'm a special agent with DCI mm-hmm. out of our Appleton office. And the other thing, and I, and I don't even know if this is within my realm of authority to even offer, but I just I'm not a big fan of Steve Avery. If there's even something technical assist that our agency has that would benefit you guys, well. Um, right now, everybody is gone. Okay. I can put you through to Investigator Weger's phone. He will be okay. coming in tomorrow. If you want to leave your name and where you're from and your phone number. Okay. Kind of a short message. Then if he needs you, he could call you back tomorrow. That sounds fine. Okay. Me doing good conscience that we pick up the phone and make the call. <laughs> okay, just right. one second. Thanks. Mm-hmm. The sheriff's department. Hi, is the sheriff there? Mm, no, he's not in at this moment, but I can put you through to his voicemail. Is there any way this is about connection to news? He was expecting our call later in the afternoon regarding the files of video. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. He's, as far as I know, um, he's still up there. Still up there. 
I haven't heard anything else since. I mean, I just came in at 2, and they told me he was going to be going to Manitowoc to the airport. That's all I've heard. I haven't heard if they're up there, I, you know, or nothing. So the best I could do for you would be put you through to his voicemail. That's his cell or that's his office? That's his office. Is there any way we could, uh... I will not give out a cell phone number. Oh, no, I'm not asking for that. I'm just asking for you guys to put it through. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and leave a message. Um, but if you need to hear anything, you know, maybe you can push the idea. And you're in action, too? Yes. Okay, what is the number there? 438-3375. 438-3375. And who should he ask for? Isabel. Okay. K-A-L-L-I-E. Okay. We'll see once what we can do. Thanks. I'll put you through to his voicemail just in case. Though. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Sheriff's Department. Yes, I may possibly have a tip. I don't know. <laughs> for that Teresa Halbach was got the thing. Okay. Um, I was watching the news, and as soon as they said photographer, it tripped something. On Tuesday morning, I was going to work. Um, I worked as a secretary at Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church out in um, Trinity Liberty. Sorry. <laughs> Liberty, Manitowoc. Okay. And there was a woman who had a hairstyle just like that where they tucked their hair behind the ears, and she was pulled over with her hazards on, and I was going to pull over until I saw that she wasn't in trouble, but she was taking a picture of the cows, I think, in the field right next to it. And this, I'm trying for the life of me to remember what color the car was, but it was like an SUV-type vehicle, but I don't honestly remember the color of it. Okay, what time on Tuesday? It would have been like 8.35 because I was a little bit late. Okay. And I don't know if that makes any sense because I read on here like Monday was the last anybody heard from her. So I don't know right. if she was she supposed to stay overnight in the area or something. I'm not sure. Okay, because she didn't look stressed out. You know what I mean? Okay. She was very well dressed. I'm trying to think exactly what she was wearing, and I honestly don't know if she was not wearing a coat. I remember thinking it was kind of early in the morning to be dressed <laughs> that nice and a little out of place. But um, Okay, and can I have your name? Sure, it's Anna Knutson, K-N-U-T-S-O-N. And your telephone number? Is um, 7, I think it was, I'm always giving out the church with 775-3803. Okay, what I'll do is I'll, I'll write up a little something for our investigator, but I'd also like to transfer you to his voicemail so okay. that he can hear it directly from you. Okay. And just give the same little scenario to him and leave your name and telephone number, okay? Okay, I was just going to let you know it was Madsen Road. Madsen Road? M-E-D-S-O-N. And it was literally kitty corner from Trinity Lutheran Church, but I can tell him that on the voice note too. Okay, okay, well thank you so much. And I'm going to go ahead sure. and transfer you now. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to call you every time the phone rings, reference this girl, or just something that we can maybe follow up on today? Oh, I've been running off the hook already? No, um, I just got my second call, um, reference a woman saw her pulled on the side of the road taking a picture of a cow on Tuesday morning at 8.30 a.m. She, she saw the picture tonight on the news and swears it was her. Where did she see this? On Madsen Road in Manitowoc County by Trinity... Evangelical Church. I don't exactly where that is. Okay. She said she, know, she noticed it because um, the, uh, oh, hang on a second. What is this? Who is 118? Is that Dan Bloom? Yeah, it's Ben Beer and Mark Lewis, Wisconsin Place 995, Frank Adams, David. Kind of she said she noticed the uh, vehicle because the four ways were on. And then noticed the woman, a very nice looking woman, uh, matched the picture, very well dressed, and taking photographs of a cow. A cow? Yeah. 
Of a cow. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning at 8.30. And she knows exactly what time, exactly where, because she was on her way to the church. Who is the caller? Anna Knudsen. She works at the church. You put her through my voicemail, too? Yes, I did. I also have the telephone number handy if you wanted it right now. I just explained to her to reiterate the whole thing to you. That's fine. I don't know how to deal with it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind if you call. Um, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and call. I don't admit. I missed something that up in my ass. So okay. That's fine. Not a problem. Alrighty. We'll probably stop now that news is over. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.